The stories you hear about binge drinking leading to violence, sexual assault, falling off things and crashes on the road are not just made up. They're true. Day in, day out, the emergency department copes with the results of these injuries and patches people up. Sometimes we can't. And then we have the task of informing grieving parents, sisters, brothers and friends of what's happened. Some of the saddest cases are those who survive but suffer terrible long-term effects, never able to lead the normal life they had in spite of years of rehabilitation in hospitals. Never delay calling an ambulance if you're concerned about someone. You've got to act now and dial triple O. Because alcohol's an everyday drug, it gets a bit forgotten, but people die of alcohol overdoses. If they've had a lot in a really short time, it can be really, really dangerous. They mightn't just sleep it off. And it's not just those who do the heavy drinking who get injured or end up in hospital. Just as often it's someone else who that drunk person hurts. If you're out somewhere and you're really scared by others drinking, don't hesitate to get some help from someone. Give your parents or a trusted friend a call and ask to be picked up. There might be some arguments later, but it's better to have an argument with someone who really cares about you than to stay in a dangerous situation where you might get hurt. Prevention, of course, is better than cure. Think hard about whether you'll be one of those that cause some of the problems or whether you'll stick with the majority of people and do the sensible thing. Not everyone is getting drunk. The majority of kids aren't drinking heavily 